How does it feel for you guys to be a part of one of the most successful boys basketball programs in Ellsworth history? Um, straight up, it feels great. Um, this basketball team is a special group of guys and this is something we definitely deserve. Um, getting that regional championship plaque coming back here in Ellsworth is something that's very important to the community, the school district here, and uh, yeah, it's a really exciting moment for us. And you know, just to keep moving on and have these extra extra practices and stuff, it's really important to us players. And you know, it's great to have this continue going on and stuff. So yeah, really cool. More of a feeling of relief because I know everyone like in our team has worked so hard and have been they've been in all summer and just trying and. Everyone told us that it's a wrestling town and we all just kept grinding and turned it around and said like we can have both sports like be good at this in this town. And we all just worked hard and now we're here. Well, I just remember like as a kid growing up, I mean we, uh, we grew up around like Travis and like a couple years ago those guys graduated and they won like one playoff game and we thought that was like such a big deal like that. Had, I mean it was maybe normal but it didn't really happen that often. And like those guys were like heroes, you know. And now I just think of like us, like it hasn't happened in a while. Like how how much of an impact we're gonna have on kids in the elementary school and the middle school that are seeing us winning and they're seeing success and they're coming to the gym and seeing how it's done. You know how how you come in the gym, you work hard. I know Ma, you put in work. Dre, you put in work. Logan, you put in work. I mean, when I look at that team versus this team. I thought those guys were good, and I mean, now I look at you guys, even from the sidelines where I'm at right now, and it's like, you just stand back and you're like, we got something special. Okay, I just want to say like, in middle school, like traveling, we knew we were going to have something special when we got to high school, like this year when they were seniors and we were juniors, and I think we put in a lot of hard work, like these guys said, and we've got this far, and we're going to keep this thing going. Yeah, I'm just going to expound upon what Logan just said. Uh, I remember I was there. Uh, their traveling coach, Logan and Eric's traveling coach coming up. Obviously Drake and Alex was the class ahead of them. And I remember watching them play in eighth grade and I knew what kind of talent we had in the seventh grade. And obviously I didn't, wasn't planning on being the varsity coach at the time. I just thought, man, we got something special coming up here. But obviously five, six, seven years ago, other people said the same thing. You know, we did have talent. We just weren't able to put it all together for whatever reason there was. But now these guys, that put it together, and boy, is it fun. That feeling of walking off the court Saturday night up in Bloomer, you know, outside of the birth of my kids, that was probably top three of my life, walking off the court with these guys. That was awesome. How do you guys come into this game on Thursday night just forgetting about your previous matchups with Prescott? Um, I think it's more of like a learning about what happened the first couple games, like, First game, we were obviously like up by like 12 or 15 or 10, something like that at halftime, and we lost the lead. So we got to learn that like if we get ahead on Thursday, we got to learn to keep the lead, play at our pace. And then obviously the last time we played them there, we lost by 40, 37, something like that. And we just got to slow the game down a little bit, go against their tempo, play our game, and then just like learn about the first couple of matchups we had against them to go against them a third time. With Eric out, with a broken tibia, how does this affect your team and what are your guys' new roles? Uh, yeah, with Eric being all, it's kind of, he was kind of, you know, our speedy guy in the team and we were speedy with him. Um, you know, we're easy, we usually uh, be able to use the ball movement a lot more. Uh, now with Richie coming in and not saying the ball movement slowed down with him coming in, but, you know, we're kind of, we're playing a big man ball now with Richie in. But uh, yeah, E was huge with us with the fast breaks and you know outlaying the ball and stuff like that. But you know we're we're working with it. Um, it hasn't hurt us too much in a way. You know we're taking it in a positive way. But uh, yeah, we're keeping moving forward. Sucks that he's out the rest of the season, but you know we're gonna still play basketball and hopefully play the way we have been the rest of the season. So yeah. Just with Eric out, I feel that like I have to like bring the ball and slow the game down more because before like I was the one that just isoed the whole time and pushed and went. And Eric, when Eric got the ball, he kind of slowed everything down and set up offense. Now I'm really just practicing, working on setting up the offense and slowing the game down and making better decisions because usually Eric did that because he had such a high motor talking to us and 
my, I just kind of focused all my energy on like scoring and getting to the hoop and creating for everyone. Now I just have to slow down and make sure the team's playing as a team and we're play the point guard role, which Eric used to play. And I, and I just got to pick up on my teammates because Eric was such, he was such a positive influence on everyone, always telling everyone you can do better, you can do better, like and stuff. And I usually yell, I used to be the one, I'd, I'd get down on him and yell at him and like say, we gotta pick it up and then Eric would go pick him up. And now with him, I gotta like, I feel like I gotta like pick everyone up and like kind of take over his point guard role. Your game on Thursday is at New Richmond, neutral court, but it's gonna be intense, very intense atmosphere. What's it gonna be like playing there? Um, um we're, we're all assuming it's gonna be crazy and that we can, Rogers. Um, that we can, we that we just gotta ignore the noise. But we've never really been there before, so we don't we don't really know what like Prescott does have the advantage. Cause we know we've never really played in one of these games, so we're just trying to keep our heads straight, play loud music, and or not loud music, but loud like audience noise and practice to get ready for it. But we're honestly, most of us, uh, all of us, are just going in like open eyed because we've never really been here before. And we're just trying to shut out all the shut out all the noise and just play as a team. Um, I think we had just any old game, like it's obviously the biggest game that we've probably all three ever played in. And, but the game last game we played against them there, it was pretty busy, but I know it's gonna be more busy, but we kind of got like a little taste of it. And they obviously excelled more than we did in that game. So we just gotta play our game and we'll be good.